Puerto Rico, 1995. Reports emerged from the countryside of a mysterious creature attacking livestock in the dead of the night. Unlike the known apex predators of the area, the unidentified attacker left almost no trace of its identity. The only evidence left by the perpetrator are a series of neat puncture wounds on the chests of the victims. Autopsies of the animal's bodies reveal that they are completely devoid of blood. August of the same year, during a foggy summer night, an eyewitness reports seeing a large creature standing upright in a city street a few meters away. She reported feeling debilitated as its dark eyes gazed upon her from a distance. She described the enigma as a towering bipedal reptilian with spikes emanating from its back and face. A set of glowing red eyes is sometimes described by later eyewitnesses. When the sun arose the next morning, 150 farm animals and house pets lay dead. All had the signature puncture wounds of the mysterious attacker, and all were devoid of blood. None of the villagers reported hearing cries of pain or the sounds of a struggle. These incidents were initially attributed to satanic cults in the area. As the number of deaths grew, people began to speculate that the efficiency and stealth of the killings were the work of a new super predator. They called it the Chupacabra, roughly translating to goat sucker. It gained its name for its affinity to suck animals dry of their blood. As news of the terrifying creature spread, countless reports of Chupacabra attacks emerged from North, South, and Central America, and the Caribbean. Farmers and villages from all over the American continent reported seeing the red-eyed demon prowling the dark countryside for its prey. An ever-growing pile of bodies seemed to corroborate these accounts. The Chupacabra evaded capture from hunters and trained military trackers sent to capture the elusive creature. Panic spread amongst the rural Americans as the Chupacabra claimed countless victims. Its attacks came with no warning and were often sporadic in nature. At the peak of the Chupacabra panic, my own grandfather was overcome with fear of the goat sucker. My uncles armed with rifles guarded the livestock, often through the night, for a few months until the panic died down. As quickly as the chupacabra had appeared, it vanished. Sightings and reported attacks began to dwindle in the 2000s. Sporadic reports of attacks came from all over the globe. Major attacks were reported in India and China. Eyewitnesses claimed to have seen a creature resembling the popular description of the Chupacabra. What is the Chupacabra? Experts in the field of biology and zoology agree that a bipedal lizard is a highly unlikely suspect for the attacks. Several purported Chupacabra bodies have been found to be coyotes suffering from a skin disease known as mange. The disease causes hair to fall and skin to shrivel. The severely deformed coyotes are almost unrecognizable from their healthy counterparts. It is theorized that these infected coyotes were not suited to hunt wild game and thus targeted vulnerable livestock to survive. Eyewitness accounts are attributed to hysteria surrounding the uptick in coyote attacks. The eyewitness's description of the Chupacabra in 1995 was strangely similar to a character from a movie released around the same time. The eyewitness admitted to seeing the movie, but stood firm in her recollection of the sighting. Was the Chupacabra a new super apex predator that rivaled humanity's hunting prowess, or a figment of our imagination? We might never know. Who was to say what hunts in the night?